up, you guys? Welcome back to a new episode of Fresh and the Fleet. I'm here to show you guys the closet tour of the pieces that I didn't really get to show. Considering the past collection videos, I've already gone through Tommy, I've already gone through Polo. So you guys gotta think back to yourself, where else could I go? In my case, my collection's big enough, I can go somewhere. Before we get into it, I do gotta remind everybody out there, if you guys are enjoying the videos, and you do wanna make more, please do hit that like button, it really does help me a lot, as well as that piece of the subscribe button if you're not already, also hit that notification bell, if you guys wanna see when I upload immediately. Let's get into it. The MGM 1994 licensing vintage guest denim jacket. So what is this piece? Why is there an MGM licensing on here? And it is for the movie Species. <laughs> promo jacket to end all promo jackets i found this one in an early episode just picking through the spots in the trenches and coming out with this piece i was all into it and i was all for that these are the beginning videos that really got me going and you guys can see why i mean that's pretty much it for this piece but if you guys haven't seen the movie go check that one out you got time now hit it up i want a baby so many of these guest jackets. Let's get into this piece straight off. I was gonna wear a Stussy cap, but hey, I'll leave them up there. But check it out, the Stussy World Tribe, Stussy Burly Gear. Remember how I say it, Stussy. Like you're having some meat stew and you're eating it. Mm. Okay, so I digress, but still, this is a crazy piece right here. Just full, ready for winter, burly gear, patchwork. At the cleanliness of this piece alone, I did find this one at a Goodwill, right into the trenches again. Check out that embroidery, and then I go back to it. That's why these pieces kept me going. It had nothing to do with how well my videos were doing. It was all about what I was finding, and what I was finding was fire. <laughs> Think about this piece right here. This is going for at least $350, $400 alone. Go check it out. It's insane being this colorway also, patchwork's on point cleanliness no rips no tears no stains and that's how I like it Goodwill hooked it up now let's get into a piece right here that when I found it I found this one and a Wu-Tang hoodie from 1995 and I put in a video and it got the least likes it got the least views and that's what I love about this piece I kept it it is in the stash and it's just an amazing piece right here live aid hard rock cafe Feed the World, July 13, 1985. The story that this one can tell, it just blows my mind, the fact that I found it at the thrift. Satin Jackets Incorporated by Stormin Norman Production. If you guys know about that name, this is size XL. This one is definitely a stash piece right here. Just look at that. If you guys watch the Queen movie, and you guys know about this concert. If not, culture up. Once that, let's get into the Patagonia Deep Piles. So this one is that khaki or oatmeal, whatever you want to call it, a end all be all find at the swap meet on someone's back, by the way. I remember the guy didn't want to sell it and he's like, I think I'm going to keep it. But I overcame it and I came up. I believe it did cost me 45 bucks but I was happy to pay it considering how much these gone up in price. Now let's get into the other one. I did pick this one for 12 bucks at the local thrift and I was very happy. And these made in USA pieces, I can't get enough of. Let alone Ventura being so close, the birthplace of Patagonia itself. The overall clean piece, maybe blue, maybe purple, you decide. Definitely had to talk about this piece right here, an awesome, insane find. And I also found that Apple computer, the Nautica competition sailing jacket. It's got crazy patchwork here alone. And that big back graphic is what it's all about. This is good because I could barely read, so. That is what everyone was freaking out when I found it and I posted it up online. You know, some people were saying, I hate you, man. I hate you. Keep hating. It pushes everyone to find more. It pushes everyone to get more. That's what it's all about. Definitely a shout out to uh, Rachel's dad from Friends. <laughs> have to be heading toward my chateau. You guys remember her dad rocking this jacket in the French show? And you guys are the real ones. Let's definitely get into some heavy pieces right here. You got a 1986 Universal Studios licensing here. A Howard the Duck in black bomber. The graphic that's still there. Check out his cigar. If you guys are watching the new movies, Guardians of the Galaxy, then you've seen Howard the Duck in his showcase in his little Easter egg. Literally an Easter egg. What do you let it lick you like that for? Gross. Definitely an awesome piece, found the wild. Outside that, this one was caught personally at a local thrift store. Check it out, the A-Team, Stephen J. Cannell Productions, a iconic piece. If you guys haven't seen the repo, then go watch the TV show. What you doing, sucker? Dry clean only. But now we got a piece for you Star Trek fanatics out there. For the awesome Made in USA Star Trek jersey. This one was picked up at a local spot for like four bucks. I was very happy to pick it up. I actually left it, came back, and picked it up. I looked at it, and this one was still there. Now to that, I talked about this one before. This one was a swap me pickup. Vintage bootleg Gucci track suit let's get into this right here that zipper open it up can you believe it can you believe it check out the tag on the inside insane now so let's get into some vintage north face jackets mountain guide jacket that was found for 25 bucks at the local goodwill this one definitely set it off in the right path just an awesome piece and these pieces now going for upwards 300 bucks 
is insane as itself. Considering I got these both for around 20 bucks. What? Got Gore-Tex just like that one. I mean, these both are iconic and I love the fact that I have these in the collection. Uh, the rest of them all sold off. That Steve Tech round two did scoop up. Now let's get into some vintage Jordan stuff as well as some vintage Nike stuff and a little bit in between. I definitely want to hit off this piece. Got that gray tag on the inside, Nike patch. And let's see what this says right there. Nike SCMAF 1987 track field advisory board so this was a crazy half zip anorak but i actually went to round two with it but i forgot it was in the bag i didn't bring it out so they didn't scoop it up i do have it in the collection now so we'll see what happens to it if i go back or if i don't and that one's fine at the swap meet let's get into the jordan pieces not so that we got an online steel pickup vintage baseball jordan jersey in the amazing colorway just black but the red and gold lettering in here is just awesome as well as the 23 embroidery and that air jordan Jumpman embroidery is just amazing also air jordan that's this one this one was picked up locally at the spot i believe it was 7.99 Isaac xl you got the Jumpman embroidery as well as that air jordan embroidery here love the colorway and you just gotta love that nike swoosh embroidery there and then we got this one picked up at the local spot right when they opened the first time they ever opened i came up on this pole sport jacket and a few other pieces the team nike does have the nike swoosh or the check whatever you want to say you got the sports on one side and then you got fitness on the other side back to those colors you guys already know check out the embroidery here zippers on point does say okay this is something i did not notice you guys have to see this okay i thought this said nike this entire time it says mike on it it actually says mike m-i-k-e this might be actually a shout out to uh michael jordan i had no idea that is really weird i mean the more you know right every day you learn something Michael T, like my, like me, like my this piece right here we got the fila if you guys are into the fila full quilted piece but this was actually for sale before and decided to keep it i don't have any fila pieces and i knew i had to it does have like a cigarette burn over here but that just adds to the vintage flavor you guys already know about that now the last piece i do want to talk about is this highly decorated supreme 2009 hoodie now if you guys can see look what's chopped off sleeves chopped off even the neckline has been chopped <laughs> than that everything's in sound condition now the story behind this one which i don't get to tell a lot of people is that this one was found at the swap meet it was hanging up like this and i didn't see this first i saw this part and i saw this and immediately i was like no way this is real so i checked the tag as well as that inside tags it all came out to be legit and back in the early videos i used to rock this thing did a whole round two episode meaning go in there selling to the goodwill first i actually hit up fat cells and man this thing was a go-to piece and it's still in the collection to this day definitely a classic supreme fine at the swap meet eight bucks so thank you guys for watching. You guys already know what the deal is. The quarantine is still in lockdown. So I hope this all ends soon because I know you guys aren't into the whole collection things, but hey, I'm showing what I got and what I got is a lot. Collector first, seller second. I believe for that. But with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mitt from Fresh from the Flea.